I remember when I was super young, I saw Weird Al, and I remember. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like yeah. you're one of my favorite people so, now. So. Hey man, you never know a bad, you know a bad child of loaf is, is, is <laughs> good bread. <laughs> you know? Really so, good. So imagine your the sauces you like. That's really that, good. That's got to be your cell line. That's yeah, your exactly. Line. Everybody, welcome to the show. As always, this is a show about failure. It's about f ups. It's about not quite getting it right, thinking that you're going to get it right. Because it, it feels awesome to start your own thing or your big idea, and you kind of take off, take off, take off, take off, and then you're like, oh, dear Lord, what do I do now? And come all the way down. We're talking about the, the down parts today. Tonight, we're going to be talking to Sid Santa, who had a career in the music industry and then in food and food trucks, and now has his own hot sauce company. I'm a, I'm a little nervous because I have heard that he's bringing hot sauce on the show and we'll just have to see what happens before we meet with Sid. We got to find out what we're drinking tonight and Jack Sanders is going to be making something delicious for us, of course. Jack, what are we drinking tonight? Hey, thanks, Sean. Uh, I've got a beautiful drink tonight called Ye Old Curiosity. The very first thing that we start with in this one is a little Agua de Bolivia, made in Bolivia, distilled from 100% coca leaves. We use about a half ounce of that. Singani 63, also uh, Bolivian, brandy made uh, at elevation, and we're gonna use an ounce of Singani 63. And then because we have to have it, 114 proof old granddad bourbon Kentucky straight. It's beautiful stuff here. Ounce and a half of that. Scrappy's uh, aromatic bitters infused with vanilla bean, local Seattle company. Four dashes. Scrappy's Black Lemon Limited Run. Four dashes of that as well. And uh, this is the fun part. Infusing the cocktail with a little smoke. Smoke in the glass. I quirk the smoke in. And this is the part where I infuse the cocktail with the smoke. Shake it around until the smoke begins to dissipate and disappear. And then we'll go into chilling the cocktail next. And then this will chill it and give it a little dilution. I give it about 25 seconds. And then we smoke the cocktail for its garnish itself. And in this case, I use a uh, old pirate book for my cloche. This is ye old curiosity. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the show. I am here with Sid from Ballyhoo. Uh, hot sauce, hot, hot sauce. sauce company. Yeah, oh, yeah. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you here. Um, tell me a little bit about, uh, about, about, by the way, I don't know why I'm scared of hot <laughs> sauce. Like, uh, sure. I know you brought hot sauce and I'm still nervous about it, but, before we get there, tell me about Ballyhoo. Sure. Me. My background's chef-driven, so okay. I've been working in restaurants my whole life. Most of the stuff is kind of flavor-forward, enhancing foods. Yeah. Um, we're not a burn-your-face-off company. We're not yeah. trying to kill you. There's plenty of companies that do that, and that's great. We're more of an everyday table kind of sauce. Thank you for not yeah. trying to yeah. kill people. I yeah. think that, that's, <laughs> that, that's a... That's a noble thing to do. Right. Yeah. yeah, I do what I can. Did you say flavor forward? Yeah, so yeah, what, um, that, we're, what does that mean? Food. Yeah. So, so instead of like, um, you know, pouring something on your food and it's, you know, you taste it and oh, you taste is hot sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like to marry flavors. So, oh, I got so, you. So, you know, for example, like the habanero citrus um, goes really good with like Indian food, Asian food, chicken okay. and pork. So, you know, you throw in an Indian food, you're just going to get a little bit of citrus and habanero, yeah. just add it on to the, the initial flavors. Okay. Tell me more about your background then. You say you came from. Uh, like restaurants yeah. as a chef. So before like that, that, I was actually I started in the music industry. Yeah. Um, well, I, that's not the restaurant. Yeah. Like chef and wait, way, way back. Yeah. How did, like how did you how did you get into that? Um. So I remember when I was super young, I saw Weird Al, and I remember. <laughs> wait. <laughs> how, how far back you're, do you want to go? No, no, no. Like <laughs> like you're leading into the music industry yeah, yeah. with Weird Al. Like yeah. you're one of my favorite people so, now. So, like, so it's, it's one of my first shows. I was like, you know. In elementary school, I remember seeing people with backstage passes. Yeah. I have never seen them before. And I remember going to a pizza place across the venue. I was like, oh my God, those guys toured the band. That's yeah. so crazy. You know, I just remember that setting in. And then I read a book by Henry Rollins called Get in the Van. 
And uh, Henry Rollins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Started and a publishing company exactly based yep. on his birthday. I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So, so I just I was obsessed with touring. And then when I was like 18, I started. I was in a band. I made friends with bigger bands, and and I was like. They were like, hey, you want to come out on the road with us and make no money and not eat and, and just hang out and only drink beer and, and not nourish yourself? I was like, yeah, that sounds super fun. So, so, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. Work in a bar and like bartend and make like 200 bucks a night and then save up money so I can go and do my fun job of yeah. touring for three months and just traveling the country. And so one of the last bands I toured with, they were called The Used, and the singer Bert was really into cooking. Yeah. And um, so on days off, we'd always cook together. and. And so one day it just kind of came to a point where I'm like, well, I'm never going to make money in the music industry. Yeah. Um, let's try cooking. So I enrolled in culinary school and, uh, and then I'm, you know. Wait, so you went, you went from the music industry, Straight. last band you toured with was The Used? Yep. Yeah. And then you went into culinary yep. school after yep. that. Yep. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's totally. So it's constantly like getting up here, going back, going up here, coming no back. No kidding. Yeah. So yeah, I just, I put every effort into culinary school because yeah. I was paying it for myself and like, I want to learn everything. So yeah. I hustled and again, um, so then there was a period of my life where I was like working 80 hours a week uh, at two different restaurants, going to culinary school and staging. Do you know what staging means? No, what's staging? Staging is basically an internship at a restaurant. So you oh, go okay, work okay, for okay, free. Okay, okay. So I was, I was in Orange County, I was driving yeah. to LA, working for free at this Michelin star restaurant, just trying to learn as much as I can. Yeah. Did that for a while, hustle, hustle, hustle. Now they, I mean, do, 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 okay, so Michelin star. Yep. That's like really fancy. That's restaurant. the big boy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do they do that a lot? Where you like you're gonna like they have people come and work for free. It's just changed to learn over the years. A little so bit? Now, now laws are a little different. Like yeah. the, the the cooking industry used to be super punk rock, and yeah. you know people would throw plates at you if you f and like no way. You know, yeah. Now now wait. It, did oh, you yeah. have, did you ever plate a thrown at you? A thousand percent. No oh, yeah. way. Oh, yeah. Like more oh, yeah. than one. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> wait. I mean that's how, that's how you learn. Well, you don't, do, you don't like, f up again. Like, do you remember what it was that you like that you? Up that they threw I, the plate, I, or did just, you not? I, f I think it was, it, like, it was like a pasta that was like either under or overcooked or something like that, and just like, this <laughs> oh is my garbage. god, like, the, like the, yeah. the, 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 oh, like Kitchen Nightmares, you know, Gordon Ramsay kind of stuff, really? Yeah, yeah. so I said Get in the Van was like the first book that launched me in music, yeah. Uh, Kitchen Confidential was the book was that the got me into that cooking, you into yeah. Cooking. And if you read that book, like, they talk about the fear, you know. But what's crazy is that Kitchen Confidential pushed you into cooking, yeah. I'm like, when you read that book, you're like, that's a yeah. That sounds amazing. I want to I be mean, abused, certain, right? Like, certain people are just built that way of like, <laughs> let's let's go. I, I want to be abused. You're like, yeah. including me. Yeah. Yeah, like in putting that stuff together. Yeah. Ended up moving to Seattle. Uh, I love fine dining when I came here, and I got, I, had, I got two jobs. I got one job at a fine dining restaurant, okay. and I got another job that was just a fun job because I was used to working so much. I was like, let's get two jobs. Yeah. I got this job at this dinky little <laughs> Airstream trailer called Skillet, um, and we just flipped burgers there. Was and that I, still Is that still around? Yes. Like it, it is. is. Yeah, I mean, it's in is the it airport now. Wait, it's, is it? Yeah. St oh, it's in the airport now. Yeah. All yeah. right, forget it. Well, it's, it's like it's like too high class. No, no. Yeah. But it was in an airstream when they originally yeah, no, started. Yeah, it was an airstream trailer, and we drove it around. Super punk rock. Like, I just made the made the stuff there. Yeah, and yeah. Um, so that's how I got introduced to food trucks and um, fell in love. I have exciting news. What's that? Uh, we have a drink. Are you ready for the drink? I was ready for a drink. Like yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. why do I not have a drink already? <laughs> I am right? so parched. Yeah, but you've got it. You've you've got it set. All right, uh, Jack, don't look. All right, because I want it to be a surprise. All right, uh, because I can tell you right now that it's a little uh, frightening for me. Is it me. coming in like a poblano pepper or something? Ah, uh, no, no, but it's definitely got like a, a I'm very like a Vincent Price thing going on. <laughs> I think. There it is. Look, it's in a, it's in a. So, What's in the box? What's in the box? Yeah. What you got in that box? Wow. <laughs> What's in the box? I am so excited right now. Holy I don't want to this up. You're going to get catch on fire. Oh, wow. Oh, I took that in a weird way. OK. <laughs> well, that's how a bartender would take that's it. That's how a bartender That's an advanced would take drink grab. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So what's, what's this on the inside right here? Is this a? So that is dehydrated lemon. And then you've got a couple of uh, Amarena Italian cherries. Love it. Okay. Um, cheers. Cheers. All right. Let's uh, let's give this a shot. Dude, this yeah. is delicious. Thank you. Yeah, this is really good. Wow. Oh man. Mmm. Anything I like about the uh, the, like the dehydrated lemon? Yeah. And adds it comes up and yeah. in, it's really mine great. Mine fell in and it added a bunch. Yeah, it added, oh, well, I want mine yeah. to go in. Like, Dive oh, in. Jump in there, there it goes. There you go. Even better. God, this is the best show I've ever been. I'm going to do a. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
Okay, quick. So I, I have a kind of a Forrest Gump kind of life. I, I jump. No kidding, life. right? No, no, no. But like, like working with bands and yep. going from bands and then going to culinary school. Yep. This was kind of back in like right when like Top Chef and all that stuff was getting real popular. It was. So I watched yeah, a yeah, ton yeah. of stuff like that. Um, but no, I did. I did not know how to like, like classically French cook at all. Yeah. Okay. yeah. From there, you worked at the the Airstream. Yep. Yep. What was the name of it again? Uh, Skillet. Skillet. Yeah. That everybody knows and loves. Everyone in Seattle knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you and then you had the other fancy place. So then from from there, did you did you move on to other restaurants? Uh, so I did moved you... on. So I, I just fell in love with food trucks. I fell in love with catering. You know, with cooking, like you never know what to expect, but you have to be right for everything. Yeah. But you can't waste a bunch of stuff. With catering, it's like, hey, you're seven hundred people, that's what they're ordered, you know what to bring, and you get tips as a cook, which is amazing. Yeah. Um so I just fell in love with catering. So I moved from Skillet to another truck called Where You At Matt. Which was like a Creole food truck, and with there, where you at, Matt? Where you at, Matt? Matt, you're like living the life when I'm, it comes to food. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. So did, did you know po boys, jambalaya, that kind of stuff? And uh, the cool thing about Matt, he, you know, you know, when you're a cook, people like to put you in a box, like just stay behind the line, shut up, cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matt was really cool because he taught me how to do the catering sales and that kind of stuff, um, which uh, kind of led me to going. Okay, now I know everything. I know how to do front house. I know how to book catering. Yeah. Um, I know how to cook. I know how to change the oil in the generator. I knew yeah. everything about street food. I go, you know what? It's time. Let's do it. So I yeah. did it myself. Uh, so you did yourself. You had your own food truck? I started my own food truck. No way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do you still have the food truck? I sold it. No. You sold yeah. it. Okay, yeah. but okay, before yeah. we get to the selling yeah, yeah, part yeah. then, what is uh what was the food truck? Bread and circuses. When yeah. you say circuses, do you mean like like circus, like trapeze artist circuses, or am I? So, is this so Latin for something else? This is Latin for care. something. Uh, so, so Brent circuses basically was like a, a land term, being that meant like give the people what they want. Okay. So okay, it's okay. like most food trucks, at least that I know in Seattle, um, you know what they are by their name. So it's like grilled cheese experience. What do you think they serve? Uh, an experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> like you know, and then you know, you got you got blah 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 barbecue. You got this, you know. Yeah. You know, Brent Circuses, I want to do whatever we wanted because I'm Sri Lankan background. I like to do Sri Lankan cooking. My chef loved doing Indian or Italian food. Um, so we just like to mix it up. We never want to do the same menu every day. Yeah. Wait, did you serve bread? Nope. I mean, we, 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 had, we had sandwiches and we got that question a lot, but... Um, but I'm no, here, it's, I'm, it's, here, I'm here for the bread. Yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I wanted like a band name. I yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Jack, have you heard of any of these that we're talking about? I'm not going to lie. I'm one of the idiots who was like, bread? <laughs> I, I even got in an argument with my friend because they spoke what I was feeling out loud. They're like bread, and I was like, "Hey, man, you never know a bad, you know, a bad challa loaf is, is, is good bread." You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's maybe I would have been an idiot in, like, too. Unitards and, you know, <laughs> and stuff. You know, I think that's a cool concept. Yeah. I'd eat. Well, okay, so but you're not you're not doing that anymore. Like, I'm like not doing you anymore. had the food truck, you had the stuff on there. Yep. Um, I guess, what's the story about you moving on? Sure. And also, so, why did you move on? So, let me give you a little analogy. With a food truck, it is so easy. There's about, every day there's a thousand things to remember. So, mm -hmm. did you fill the water? Did you fill the propane? You got gas? Did you get the french fries? Did you fill the fire oil? Blah, blah, blah. So, I would say, like, as far as a business, I did 999 things right. Um, I screwed up one thing. Uh, I gotta be very careful about the way I word this. Um, oh, p please do tell. I had a business partner that I started with. Um, yeah. And so with 990 things going on, with the restaurants, all this stuff, I was working, I don't know, maybe 18 hours a day. Like, yeah. You know, just push, push, pushing. And I just kind of forgot about this one thing about having a business partner. Yeah. And we were 50-50. Ultimately what happened was, if I can just learn anything from this, like, we didn't have an airtight contract. I was so excited to do my own thing. You just want to do it, right? I just you just want to make stuff happen. So we never sat down and go, okay, this is your job, this is my job. This is what happens when like A happens and yeah. then this is plan B. Dude, blah, you blah. lived on a bus for yeah, a little exactly. while. Like, so, like, yeah. So if I can give any recommendation to people starting businesses and and you know, excitement's awesome, uh, but just think about what the worst thing that can happen is and, yeah, and, yeah, 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 and be yeah, yeah, prepared yeah. for that. So so unfortunately, just me not thinking about it when we started cost me my business and Dude, cost me I would not think about it at all. Like you're thinking about like quesadillas and hot dogs <laughs> and like exactly. cool stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Like yeah. it's just really rough being in this position. I'm like I did everything right. I worked my ass off. I you know I you know I I miss birthdays with my kids, you know. Right, like, I right, did right, everything. Right. Like and then right. and then you know and he didn't do anything wrong. Like he was 50/50 and he was That's right the way to that it works. Kind of put yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. from the ashes, Ballyhoo hot sauce. <laughs>
So what made you want to go cool. from that to to Bali? Sure. Like, why not? Why not just start another? I mean, part of my you were really I successful. Wasn't, I wasn't allowed to start a food truck to do the yeah. food truck yeah. again, yeah. right? Yep. So then you um, decided to, to go with something totally different. So my good friend Gavin, he works at a brewery called Black Raven in Redmond. Yeah. Um, our food truck would go there. Yeah. And one day he comes up to me, he's like, "Hey man, you like hot sauce?" I'm like, "I'm brown. Of course I like hot sauce." And uh, <laughs> so he, he gives me a little taster, like a little vial, put on my food, and just I saw colors and flavors and like <laughs> just changed my life. And um, we're all one in the universe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And uh, I run in, I'm like, dude, this is the best hot sauce I've ever had. And so, you know, he worked at a brewery and he's like, yeah, I use kind of- Oh, Jack's coming back. Sorry. Oh. All right, come back. Keep going. <laughs> Dear Lord. Oh my God, space. How oh. did you do that? Oh, I mean, yeah. Like he was coming to me first, but now it's uh, coming. Uh, cooking industry teaches you how yeah, to Yeah, you totally yeah. got that down. Like, I feel like Thank I got you, friend. it. Thank you, Well played, well played. Oh, no, no, no. He's an adult too. Oh, I picked up a new technique. <laughs> yeah, did you yeah. see that? Do I have a bucket? Look how, look how bad <laughs> I am. Yeah, so oh, cool. Jeez. <laughs> so, uh, so Gavin gives me this hot sauce and I love it. I run it. I'm like, dude, this is the best hot sauce I've ever had. And he's like, yeah, I use kind of brewing techniques. I ferment this and blah, blah, blah. And I go, dude, we need a bottle of this someday. Wait, wait, wait. He would yeah. ferment things to yeah. go into the hot sauce? Yep. Is that a typical thing? Is that a normal thing? Yeah, I mean, thing? Uh, now it is, but like yeah. at the time, like I'm, you know, I, I won't say like I've always loved hot. I always had a fridge full of hot sauce. You know? Yeah, admittedly, I think yeah. I'm like a Tabasco, like Cholula cool. something yeah. type of guy. But, I mean, there's different kinds of sauces for every kind of, you know. There's super hot stuff. There's Caribbean stuff. There's stuff yeah. that goes great with eggs. Yeah. Like, there's a billion different things, and I've never heard of these kind of techniques because it actually had a little like bite to it, like a little yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, like yeah. A bubble to it, and. It was amazing. Wait, like a, a bubble to it? Like, like the, from the fermentation, you know? Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was crazy and just and just super fruity. It had a lot of lemon lime orange in it. Um, and it just, I was shocked. Like that this, sounds amazing. And the cool thing about Gavin, he was in a band called This Providence. So like he toured a bunch and like, yeah. um, so we both came from the music industry. So we just kind of cut from yeah, the same yeah, cloth. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I go, one day we're going to bottle this. Like seven years later. Um, uh, so this is like like long ago. Long like, ago, yeah. You had the food truck, everything it was else. Always in the back like... of my head, and like I'm always hustling. I'm, I'm always doing different things, but this is some some back in my head. I get this opportunity, and we're kind of working with Safeway with a food truck thing. Yeah. And they go, hey, if you guys ever want to do a bottled product, wait, let's... Safeway with like the grocery store yes. Safeway? Yeah. No way. Okay. You okay. Want okay. Your joke? Yeah. Well, yeah. How do you fit an elephant in a Safeway bag? How how do you how do you fill an elephant in a Safeway bag? Take the S out of safe and the F out of way. Take the S out of I, oh my God! How how can I not figure this out? Take the S out of safe, the F out of way. way. But there isn't an F in way. Boom. Okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, no can that. <laughs> I like that you were patient with me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay good. Uh, All right. I, I got your ammo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it's the most beautiful thing ever. So I was working at Showbox, uh, and I and I go, Gavin. We should meet up. He's like, hey, I'm going to run the Jewel Show tonight. I'm like, cool, yeah. I'm working in the kitchen. Come meet me meet, meet No backstage. kidding concert like set up. Like everybody, yeah. like you know all the, yeah, okay. And so we're backstage at Run Jewel concert. I go, here's some stupid math. You want to start a hot sauce company? It's like, let's do it. That's it? That's it. You're backstage at Run the Jewel. That's amazing. And we started a hot sauce company. So you have to uh, learn how to do a bunch of stuff in a brand new. Like, like yeah. you, got, you, you got to put things in bottles. You got so, to so, manufacture know, I, 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 it. I shot like, some emails to like, kind of bigger hot sauce comes to Seattle, and I was like, hey, uh, can you show me how to do this? Because like in the food truck industry, we all traded secrets. Wait, wait, so, so yeah. you're gonna start your own hot sauce company. Yep. And, and no so you was contact your... hot sauce companies yeah. to find out how to start your own hot sauce company. Yeah. And they what? go, uh, they responded very nicely, go <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, Why would we tell you? So so kind of just to learn some stuff, I, I was like, you know, I'm really good at events. I put on the Seattle Hot Sauce Festival, um, and Basically became friends with every hot sauce. So you yeah. like, yeah, you're making it worth their while to exactly. be a friend with. I mean, like, don't yeah, get me wrong. I mean, I didn't do. It you're for a likable guy. Yeah. You're not like yeah. like Machiavellian, like. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it just to be like, hey, I know I'm the new guy, but let me do some cool for you because I know events and you, and you I know get, the industry, yeah, yeah. you know the people in the industry. So yeah. so and then everyone just really and, and there was people that were cool with me beforehand. I want to say everyone was, yeah. But like and then people were like. And then the thing about hot sauce, it's it's like a beer thing. Like most breweries are cool with other breweries. So people liked us because we're like, oh, our stuff's way hotter. So you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. um, so you're just after like like, oh, we we'll get into yeah, it because yeah, I want to yeah. taste the hot sauce. But yeah, you're yeah. you're after flavor, and you got other people that are after. 
you know, the, just the like, hot, let me show up on yeah, like hot yeah, ones. Exactly. Let me show yeah, up on, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we all become friends and like people kind of go, cool, here's how you get a distributor. Here's how you get a co-packer. Here's how you get to Whole Foods. That's here, amazing yeah. Yeah. that they walk you through all that type yeah, of stuff, Yeah, I mean, right? it's, it's just about being homies. And like, yeah. we got this amazing like, artist um, called Rich Hall. Uh, his name is Rich Hall from Tacoma. Did a bunch of crazy artwork. We, we just spent a lot of time on the design because we want right, right, right. people to see our stuff on the store in the, in the shelves and be like, that's the one. And no, yeah. Um, coming from the circus background, from the food truck, yeah. or stuff's names after circus theme. By the way, I, I love that you say, coming from the circus background. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're Robin from Batman. That's amazing, <laughs> yeah. But, um, so can, Ballyhoo. Can I see one of them? Like, yes, go, like, where yeah, you're check it out. All right, all right, so, right, um, right, 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 right. So, oh, by the way. Oh, my, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you've got a, like, a locked up elephant on this okay, one here, okay. right? Is that what you got? There's a reason set? for that. Okay. So, first of all, um, you know, I, I love little hidden surprises, and yeah, I, love, yeah, yeah. I love doing a little research. I don't like stuff just being like blank right in front of you. So, like I said, our stuff is uh, circus themed. Yeah. So there's literally like a glossary of circus themes that you would never know. So, for example, a heat merchant is a guy that would call up the next city to promote the the circus coming. They were to called town. a heat yeah. merchant. Yeah. When they would call up, that was what they did. Yeah. And then a ballyhoo is when they did a figure eight over the audience with the lights. Like that's a ballyhoo. That's called a ballyhoo. Yeah. I yeah. had no idea. Boss Hostler is the guy that hanged up signs around the town. And what? Yeah. So it's it's a little hidden secret of like, you might see this hot sauce and be like, this stuff's delicious. And or you can actually like Google it and find some stuff. And when you're really excited, mm -hmm. you're just getting started. You're like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. I got Ballyhoo. We're naming it after the right things. Yep. We're putting the brand together. We got a fantastic. By the way, fantastic artist. Thanks, um, I'm putting everything together. And then For you're sure. like, wait, 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 wait. I'm used to doing food trucks. Right. Like why am I like like um, was there ever a moment where you're like no 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 I don't I don't think this is the right thing. So to here's do the best forward, example right? I'll give you. So with the food truck, I can book like a ten thousand dollar gig. That's amazing. Yeah. But now I gotta make it happen. Like yeah, I gotta yeah, find yeah, servers, yeah, yeah. I gotta find cooks, I gotta order the food, blah blah. With hot sauce, when you get to a certain point and you have a co-packer, you have a distributor. Yeah. If uh, the Seahawks call me tomorrow, they're like, hey, we want. 30,000 bottles. The Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Or whatever. Okay, okay, okay. You know, there's not the legwork with the food truck. It's, oh. hey, co-packer, make it happen. Right, right, Distributor, right, 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 make right. it happen. Yeah, they've they got the recipe. So, they have so the set. Yeah. With the food truck, I had to hustle and do all the hand-to-hand -hand combat and then also cook and also yeah. get serves and also drive the truck. And blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. With this, it's I just get to hustle and just meet people and be like, you know, and, and our favorite thing is collaboration. Yeah. So, uh, for example, we just did a bunch of uh, bottles with Jaeger. So we did like Jaeger in there. No way. One of my good friends is the rep here. Jaeger in the in, in the, the hot, hot sauce. sauce. Yep, yep. And you know we're actually working with some bands doing like custom bottles for no them. No way. Uh, we're working with a I'm not allowed to say it yet, but a movie that was filmed in Astoria um, about 25 years ago. We're doing a custom bottle for them. <laughs> I can't, uh, can't believe you just did that. I'm not allowed to say that's that. awesome. I can't yeah, say no. it. We do love grocery stores. We do love the hand to hand combat. But like, let's skip that. And instead of like me sitting in a booth in the hot sun trying to sell one bottle at a time. Yeah. Let's go big. Let's yeah. let's me to sell yeah. five thousand bottles. Do you miss like the the food truck stuff? Do you miss some of the conscious stuff? It seems like you were able to kind of marry all that stuff together. Sure. But, but I do miss talking to customers every day in the sense yeah. of like with the food truck I did that. I do we do a lot of like beer festivals and sure. and you know the Portland hot sauce fest where I yeah. can talk to people and that's fun. Yeah. Um it's different, but it's yeah. it's fun. Let's try some hot sauce. Okay, 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 okay. I'm I'm super I'm super nervous, but I'm but cool. I'm excited. Like I said, you told me Jack, hi, this would like not burn sauce? my face off. Oh yeah, I love hot sauce. Get over do here. You, oh, do shit. you really you love hot sauce? Oh, I absolutely love all right, hot sauce. All right, here. Jack, grab a chair. Yep. Get over here. Slide right in the middle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna turn this thing to infomercial real quick. Into an infomercial yeah. really quick. So, so I'll be like, Ballyhoo hot This sauce. is great and delicious. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so we're gonna start super mild. This is a jalapeno tomatillo. This is a jalapeno hot sauce, and this is super yep. mild. Super mild. So you tomatillo actually, is like the thing that looks like a tomato and it's e green and it's- Exactly. Yeah, okay. So you're actually getting a little sweetness from a uh, pineapple in there. Awesome at breakfast. Oh, you can hold on to that. Uh, so kind of picture like a breakfast burrito, like really good with eggs, that kind of thing. See, it's not gonna kill you. Just chill out. No, that's good. Yeah. Actually, that's really good. Yeah, it's good. It's like salsa verde. Yeah, yeah it's salsa. exactly. But more flavor. But more flavor. Mm -hmm. This is a chili arbol. Arbol? Arbol. So it's like a smoky pepper. Uh, goes great with everything, sorry. Uh, so really good with like burgers, tacos, pizzas, burgers, that kind of thing. Mm. 
Oh, so, it's really so, good. So imagine your the sauces you like. That's really but good. So, yeah, 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 yeah. so I mean, it's it's a. <laughs> that's got to be your sell line. That's yeah, your tagline. Exactly. You know, local, cheaper, better. That's that's kind of thing. Right. Okay, what are we doing now? Cherry chipotle. So this is a funky one. Cherry chipotle. So really good with like lamb, beef, uh, shawarma, falafel. Wait, what do you think? It's briny. Reminds me of pickles. Really, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. Spicy pickles. Oh, that's really good. Starts off sweet and kind of neutral. And All right, okay, you're right. You're right, it's not crazy. So, Cherry and smoke. So lastly, this is the one that started it all. This, this one right here? Yep. This one's the heat merchant. The heat merchant. Okay. This is the habanero yeah. citrus that Gavin gave me it about 10 one, years ago. I don't ago. want you crying. He said habanero. So you get the habanero first, okay. a little garlic, and then it's going to wash over a little okay, citrus. Okay, 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 okay. So, Indian food, Asian food, chicken, pork. All right, that's really good. And that's so, legitimately really, really good. That's as not he, insane. As he cries out there. <laughs> no, right. Can I tell you a funny story real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we, um, like I said, like when we do these, we do the, the big hot sauce festivals. Thank you, brother. Thank, um, you. thank you. We, we do, uh, you know, we're kind of, people, people come up with like, what's the hot you got? And they'll try it, they'll be like, oh, the habanero. And they're like, well, that's not really that hot. Yeah. So this year we made another sauce. It's called the cool guy. <laughs> And it's What's a, even better is it's for that guy. Yeah. That's yeah, the one that exactly. comes up and he's like, oh, yeah, no, I can totally take it. Give me and, some Carolina and Reaper. A garlic ghost pepper sauce. Oh. That The logo literally was like a sloth, like a hipster sloth that says, like, what's the hot <laughs> you got? He's got a mustache. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it backfired. No people way. People loved it. They loved <laughs> yeah. it. So we're at the Portland Hot Sauce Fest. And I'm like, people were like, what's the hot you got? It's like, hey, what's the label say? Let's go. And they're yeah. like, that's really good. I'll buy a bottle. I'm like, no. <laughs> I love this. And I love Thank how you were able to take. So, you, like, you had, uh, yeah, you had, like, uh, like, uh, like a rough go. Like, yeah. like, working through that and then having to change industries. and, and we, Change is never comfortable. But, um, yeah. you know, and I learned from the first mistake of, you know, with the airtight contract. So, with my partner yeah. here, Gavin, like, we have a very obvious contract of what his jobs are, what my jobs are. And yeah. um, we're happy as yeah, dude, this is awesome. Thank you. Like I, I, yeah, I love it. Um, cheers, man. Cheers, brother. Like I'm trying to think of what else do we say besides cheers, but yeah, <laughs> you no, know, I, uh, I think it's fantastic. And you didn't die. Yeah, I didn't die. It was actually really good. And that's our show. That was a lot of fun. And if you like what you saw, or you want to see more, or let's just say it's educational, then subscribe. Uh, ring the bell, uh, uh, ring the bell, ding dong. And if you have a f up or something you think you could talk about with us, go to fups.com. Hope to see you on the show.